I think we can all agree that Total Jump All-Stars was trash. It was pretty bad. A lot of that was to do with the writing, and I think a lot of that had to do with the cast as well. And well, that's why I'm here, because I'm gonna rework this cast and just make it way better. And in doing so, well, I think I'm gonna make Total Drum All-Stars a lot better just from the cast alone. So, what needs to be fixed about the Total Drum All-Stars cast exactly? Well, first of all, an All-Stars cast only being 14 people? Really? Think of how many people were in the first generation of the Total Drama cast, plus Alejandro and Blaine Lee and Sierra. And then how many people were in the second generation of the Total Drama cast? Combine that all together, you definitely should not have only 14 people. And also, 14 people with that many people from Revenge of the Island and that little amount of people from the original cast? That's a crime. I'm sorry. That is just a crime. So, instead of 14 people, I'm going to make the cast 18 people. 18 people is a pretty good number of people. And I mean, I think that's like the same amount of people that were in World Horror, if I remember correctly. But yeah, 18 people is a good number. Definitely better than 14. 14 is fine for like Revenge of the Island or Pocket 2 Island, but All-Stars? No way. Also, we need to consider that this season would be 26 episodes because no way should an All-Star season only be 13 episodes. You kidding me? It's an All-Star season. This is supposed to be a big, big season. This is going to be 26 episodes in my hypothetical alternative universe here that I'm creating. So a cast of 18, 26 episodes. Now let's figure out the exact cast. Well, for starters, I'm just going to mention all the people that I would keep from the original cast. Those being Lindsay, Courtney, Heather, Gwen, Zoe, Joe, Duncan, Alejandro, Lightning, Scott, Cameron. So 11 people out of the 14 from the original cast I would actually keep in this. The three people that I'd be excluding would be Mike, nah, not interested, Sam, this is crazy because they literally had Harold's voice actor working on this season and they opted for Sam instead of Harold? You kidding me? No way bro, no way in hell. God. Sam, you're not here. And then Sierra because well, no Cody, no Sierra, so no thank you. So with 11 people out of 18 people already figured out, who else would I be adding? Well, let's start off with two people who legit had like Total Drama All-Stars promotional ads running for them, Lashana and Owen. I mean, these should just be like total no-brainers for who should be on an all-star season. Now, of course, Lashana did have a disastrous performance on World Tour, but bro, she's an all-star. Like, no way you can't say that she isn't an all-star. There's just no way. And then Owen, Owen is like literally one of the faces of the entire show. Him not being on all-stars is just insane. That's insane. Right off the bat, those two immediately are in. All right, now this next person, I already mentioned him earlier, but Harold. I mean, seriously, you have his voice actor working on this season, and yet you don't include him. You include Sam? No way. And of course, he also had a bit of a disastrous performance on World Tour, but like, dude, he's Harold. Who cares? He's one of the best characters of the show. I don't care what you say. He has to be on All Stars. Plus, Harold and Lashana, they have another season together where they might not get written terribly. They might not get eliminated early. This should be good. Now let's get into some more interesting picks. This next pick is someone who I believe was rumored to actually be on the season, that would be Brick. I feel like Brick makes sense, um, one of the people from Revenge of the Island that was actually good. He also like totally represents what a hero should be. And I'm not exactly saying that this cast would be split up into heroes and villains. I don't really care about that to be honest. And I'll be honest, when thinking of this whole cast, I didn't think of that at all, but I feel like Brick was actually a good part of Revenge of the Island, and so I feel like for that, he has to be in. And then another person that I feel like I've heard be rumored for it, Anne Maria. Anne Maria, once again, another actually fun and good part of Total Drama Revenge of the Island. I mean, I feel like it'd be fun to see her interact with some of these other people. And I feel like there's more to explore with her, especially after the whole Ezekiel stuff during that season. I feel like you could tell a lot more with Anna Maria. She would actually be fun to watch, she would actually make sense as someone to return. And even if you think she's kind of random, I mean, 
All-Star seasons always have like at least a couple people who are kind of random and leave you wondering like how exactly did they make it onto an All-Star season. You have to have a couple of those people. And I wouldn't even really consider Anna Maria to be one of those people, but I feel like a lot of people would. And I feel that's completely fine. Because if anything, she's one of the better people to be considered for that kind of role, instead of someone like Sam. No one wants to see Sam back again. Alright, now two people left to fill out this cast of 18. The next person that I would put on this cast, and I'll be honest, this was a little tough for me to think about, but I finally came to a decision and I think it's the right one. I'm going to put Bridget on All Stars. Now, I'm sure that there's some other people that maybe you'd want to see on here instead of her, like Izzy, maybe, but I think enough has been done with Izzy, and I feel like Bridget didn't really get a chance to have an actual solo season. You know, in World's Horse, she was basically just used to help Alejandro legitimize himself more as a character, which is fine, but I feel like Bridget really deserves that singles run. <laughs> I'm really talking about her like she's like a tag team wrestler or something, but like, but like seriously, like I really do feel like she deserves to have a season on her own, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff to explore with Bridget. You know, her relationships with Courtney, her relationships with Heather especially, right? Like there's a lot you can do with Bridget, and while I said she would be by herself on this season, I'm not including Jeff. I'm looking at this in hindsight where Jeff was on Redonkulous Race. So he at least had another chance to have a long season to himself. And he even won that season. So like, no way am I going to have him on this really. Let Bridget have her own season and uh, yeah, just see what happens there. And then the final spot. One more person. And this goes to the male side. Some people might hate this. Especially when you consider that Jeff isn't going to be on this. I'm not putting Mike on this. I'm putting Tyler in the All-Stars cast. What? Yeah, you're probably thinking no way you put Tyler over people like Jeff, Mike. I'm sure there's people that want Noah on here. Maybe even Justin. But no. I'm putting Tyler on the All-Stars cast and I'll tell you why. So here are some screenshots from Christine Thompson who used to work for Total Drama or maybe she still does, I'm not really sure. But these screenshots are about Lindsay and Tyler's relationship status like before, during, and after All Stars, basically around that timeline and how they actually broke up because of Lindsay forgetting Tyler's name in front of his parents. But then also kind of saying that, well, they kind of didn't break up because it was never addressed and it was never canon. But I think for the storyline to actually work, I think it'd be best if Tyler was actually on the season with Lindsay. Like right here, Lindsay and Tyler's breakup was being discussed as a part of Lindsay's return to All-Stars. And I think it makes sense if, well, Tyler was actually on the season for them to develop this. Now I think it'd be cool to actually have them develop their relationship. And really the only season where they've spent a prolonged amount of time together was on World Tour. And a lot of the season was just Lindsay forgetting Tyler's name and calling him different things. And I think it'd be really cool for them to further develop their relationship, especially when you consider that Total Drama just loves breaking up all of their original couples. I mean, not to mention that on this cast, I still have Duncan, Corny, and Gwen. Not to mention Heather and Alejandro, who may or may not be a thing. And then you have Bridget, who's by herself, not with Jeff. And now Tyler and Lindsay. And I think this would be a good opportunity to not break them up, but rather tell the story of a possible breakup, but having them actually work through their problems and kind of be a bit more mature about things. Maybe that's asking for a bit much, I don't know. And plus, Tyler is also just a really fun character. He's funny. There needs to be some comic relief. I mean, obviously you have people like Harold and Anne Maria, I guess. And I mean, pretty much every character on here is funny, but... Tyler is someone who was just pure comic relief, but I do think it'd be cool as well to have him be comic relief, but also have him develop like emotionally and stuff like that with Lindsay. And so, yeah, the reason I would put Tyler on All Stars is because of this whole story with Lindsay and their relationship. And there you have it. These are the 18 people that I would put on my Total Drama All-Stars cast. This is how I would have cast the season. I mean, just on paper, this is already way better than the actual All-Star season that came out. And I'm not going to say I could do a better job than the people who make Total Drama, but I do have some good ideas. Let me know how you would have cast Total Drama All-Stars and let me know what other type of videos you'd like to see me make. Like the video, subscribe for more videos, and yeah, thank you for watching.